this film has been in development for almost three decades. And all these huge Hollywood actors have been attached to it. And then something has fallen through. They've gotten pulled away on other projects. Michael Douglas, uh, Bruce Willis, uh, Jason Statham. Um, at one point it was gonna be directed by John Woo. I'm familiar with everything you have done in the Walking Dead space. Uh, I, I mean, for people who know me, people who watch the channel, uh, I am also a pro wrestling journalist. And so I was very fascinated by your association with not only Chris Jericho, but I believe Dave Batista is going to be a part of uh, one of your projects as well. So are you a pro wrestling fan to start off with? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> I, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I grew up in a, a, a town called Peoria, Illinois. And there was, you know, there was a huge pro wrestling subculture in that town when I was a teenager. So much so that I got a job setting up folding chairs at the arena where the pro wrestling matches were. And I became a huge fan of, uh, there, was, there was a guy named um, Superstar Billy Graham. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he was my favorite wrestler when I was a kid. Um, and... You know, I, but I, as a, as an, also another thing that I'll say, I'm, I'm not, I, I wouldn't say that I'm an avid pro wrestling fan now, um, you know, 50 some years later, but, <laughs> uh, but uh, I have noticed that there's this huge connection between horror and pro wrestling. Um, just a, another quick and anecdote. Uh, Back in 1994, when my first novel came out, um, it was a finalist for a Stoker Award. And the, the Bram Stoker Award was the, you know, the highest achievement in, in horror um, at the time. And um, so I went to New York and, um, and I met all my heroes. I met John Carpenter, I met Peter Straub, all these people that, that were huge you know, icons in the world of horror. And after the banquet, and the awards ceremony, they said, "Hey, we're we're all getting together in so and so's room." And I go in there, and they're they're watching pro wrestling on TV, and they're geeking out on it. All these heroes of mine. And I I, I learned that night. There's you know, a they all my heroes are like crazy pro wrestling fans. A and B, there is a connection uh, between pro wrestling and horror i my 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 co-producer jeff siegel is you know he's an enormous pro wrestling fanatic and he he has he and i are trying to figure out what it is what is the connection i don't know if i can answer that question but um you know to me the the, the connection is it's all about extremes <laughs> both both genres of entertainment are about extremes that that's the best way i could verbalize it at this point i'm sure i'll figure out and i'll figure it out one day <laughs> uh no but then how did pro wrestling find you i mean how did chris jericho maybe get in touch with you another great question and it's it's kind of mysterious i mean you know when when i was um i probably am you know speaking out of school i probably shouldn't mention this but um i I did have a bunch of meetings with a pro wrestler named CM Punk. Oh, and wow. um, yeah, and that was when it started. That was when my relationship with, with pro wrestling started. Um, and that was about five or six years ago. It was pre COVID. Um, and we tried to put, we tried to work on something together and it, and, and it just, it didn't, it fell through like most projects in the film industry fall through. Um, but then it would, I've had this film called The Killer's Game in development for almost 30 years. Um, it's a book I wrote in 1997, um, and it's super action-packed. You know, I wanted to see if I could write a book that had a, a, the same amount of action as, like, you know, a Batman movie or, you know, you know a, 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 a cinematic thriller, you know. So it was kind of an experiment, and it, it was hugely successful for me 
in my world. I mean, the book, you know, was a cash cow and it, it was translated into like 11 different languages. And it was it was really a great and, and it and it got optioned by a, a very successful film producer named Andrew Lazar way back in 95. And um, so all, this this film has been in development for almost three decades and all these huge Hollywood actors have been attached to it. And then something has fallen through. They've gotten pulled away on other projects. Michael Douglas, uh, Bruce Willis, uh, Jason Statham. Um, at one point it was gonna be directed by John Woo. All these, all, all these, um, again, I'm probably speaking, I'm giving you exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably not even supposed to mention all this stuff. But <clears throat> finally, the guy that agreed to play the hero, this <clears throat> this um, hitman with a heart of gold, <laughs> that's the way I describe him, um, was Dave Bautista. And I had nothing to do with casting him because I'm a novelist. At the time, I was basically just providing the source material, my novel, you know, but I was very close friends. I am very close friends with the producer and the screenwriter, the original screenwriter, Ren Ravitch, who's a great uh, writer. And they helped me and, and I and I gave them notes and stuff and we, we really worked together. So I participated in this. But when I heard Dave Bautista was gonna play the character and it was going before the cameras and it was shot, it is in the can, it'll be released probably late this year. It was shot in Budapest, Hungary, um, last this past August and September. Um, and I was a huge fan of Dave Bautista as an actor. I, I I followed his career. I mean, I didn't really know him as a wrestler, to be quite honest. I knew him as a as a character actor. I thought he was amazing in in um, Blade Runner uh, 2049 and um, and you know Guardians of the Galaxy and you know um, A Knock at the Cabin. I think that's the name of it. A Knock at the Cabin. Um, that was also written by an author that I know and I, I admire very much, uh, Paul Tremblay. So it's all, and that's horror. There's all these connections. They're all connected, you know. <clears throat> and and then Chris Jericho, uh, we just, we had mutual people that we knew and my friend Jeff Siegel helped me get in touch with him. And he read the script and he was really interested in it. So much so that I met him and I, I I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand one of the parts in the script for Chris. Um, you know, and also I'll, I'll just say that there's such a connection between not only horror and pro wrestling, but there's a connection between pro wrestling and acting and film acting, you know, because wrestlers are bigger than life. And they, you know, they, they're, they're great on camera, you, you know, um, for the most part, they're, you know, they're, they're just terrific. And Dave Bautista is, is a rare breed. He's, he's a very subtle film actor. Um, so, uh, I learned, I learned all this last year and it was one of the greatest years of my career knowing that Dave Bautista is going to be play the leading role in, in the film based on my book. So anyway, uh, yeah. So that, you... that film come, that film comes out later this year too. I, I think I mentioned that already, but um, be looking for the Killers game. You know, it also stars Ice Cube. It, it stars um, Ben Kingsley, uh, Sophia Botella. It's it's a great it, it's a great cast and a great director. The director began as a as a stunt coordinator, um, and so anyway. I'm super excited about it. Fantastic. So what uh, have you interacted with Dave B B Batista at length and what have your interactions been like, if so? Not not like Chris. Um, okay. Chris Jericho, I'm much closer to. And, and you know, Dave, Dave I, I've just been a fan from a distance. And it was just a coincidence that he um, was... I. Again, I, I'm probably not supposed to mention some of these things, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> I get myself in trouble all the time. But um, but I do know that um, 
Dave Bautista is such a great actor that he was talking to the producer uh, a couple of years ago. And he said, I'm, I'm looking for a rom-com. I want to be in a rom-com. And you know, an actor has chops when they want to be in a rom-com. It's just, it's, it's so, it's such a departure from what Dave Bautista is known for. And he's typecast as, you know, he's, he's, he's such a big ripped dude and, you know, imposing. So I, I was like, so, so, uh, I believe this is how it went down. Andrew Lazar, the producer said, well, how about a rom-com with a bunch of action in it? <laughs> and that's my book. My book has, is a love story with a bunch of action, basically. And, and Dave Bautista read uh, the script and he's like, yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is fantastic. You know, um, I had a lot of help from the screenwriter and, and the producer while I was, I was creating the book. It, I never, I've never seen it. I'm a also a filmmaker and, and I'm a director. Um, and I've never made a distinction between the two mediums. I've always thought that, you know, storytelling is storytelling. Whether it's in the ring, <laughs> you know, and, and it's, it's wrestling or it's on stage or it's in prose in a book or it's on a screen. You know, I've, I've always thought that storytelling, the, 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 you know, the essentials of storytelling, the foundations are all the same. No matter, you know, if you're, if you're doing it on stage, you're doing it mostly with dialogue. If you're doing it on screen, you're doing it with picture, with visuals and sound and dialogue. Um, you know, if you're doing it in the ring, you're doing it with brutal, <laughs> you know, action, but you're still, you're telling stories. So, so it all, it all is of a piece to me. And, and, you know, when I was working on the book, the, the screenwriter and, and Andrew, um, Rand and Andrew said, um, what if, what if you, and they gave me a great idea, uh, that affected the love story between Dave Bautista's character and his girlfriend. And I'm like, that is brilliant. And I, and it made the second act of the book work. And I, and I, I, I will forever be grateful for them. I'm going to keep it a secret though. You'll, you'll have to go see the movie to know what, what the dynamic between Batista and his girlfriend were that that I put in the book thanks to the film crew. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's called it that's called a cliffhanger in my business. <laughs> <laughs>